everybody, and welcome back to the Wattpad Book Club. My name is Phoenix, and once again, I am joined with my, my bestie over here, Jolene. Woo! <laughs> I, <laughs> when I was <laughs> announcing it, I almost said your last name. <laughs> Did that happen? Oh my gosh, are you... <laughs> I was, no! I was like, oh wait, I shouldn't do that. <laughs> but, uh, I... Bro, I was, I was hesitant. I'm just like, should I keep using my first name? Oh god, you, I mean, you can come up with a different name if you want, man. <laughs> well, we'll find out. We'll yeah. find out what I choose. <laughs> Next time on Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I, I got my, 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 my girl Jolene in here for another Wattpad reading. And, uh, we decided that we're gonna read more Law, cause, uh, he's hot. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not I, to that part in One Piece yet, but yeah, I've seen the fan. Yeah, I'm yeah. not blind. <laughs> you know, like when I first met, like I, like I knew people in the fandom liked him, and I'm like, I don't get it. Like when I saw him in like Saba Odi and whatnot, I was like, I don't get it. But like, I can respect people's opinions and whatnot. And then I got the mm -hmm. Punk Hazard, and I was like, you know what? I get it. And then I slowly went on Wattpad and and, and added like ten books. <laughs> oh, you know, you sometimes just gotta mar let it marinate a little bit before you're like, yeah, you know you what? Do. I'm on the I'm on the train. I'm, I'm going to. Never mind. I can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, be careful there. Be careful there. <laughs> you know what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> you said you're going on the train, and I was like concerned. <laughs> I was, I'll tell you. <laughs> Actually, with the way I edit these, uh, it, like, you won't even see the chat, so I was like, go on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh my gosh. There you go, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, never mind. <laughs> but, uh, but anyway, uh, we're gonna load up chapter five. So wait, what's the- what- okay, so the plot is that Law's a doctor, and we mm -hmm. met in the, uh, in the what the EMC? We're, we're a patient. Yeah, we we were a patient. We were in a, a coma we in for a like coma for like, like seven ever. months in a car crash. And I I cannot get over the fact that the company just paid for her to be there. I mean, I, like, she must be a successful I, author. And then Law accidentally I took guess. her case, and that's that's what we know so far. I mean, she must yeah. be a successful author for her, like, her company to just, like, A for her medical bills. I don't even know. I, I thought, like, like, you're, you're essentially working for yourself if you're an author, and then you just, oh, is it, like, her publisher? Yeah, probably the publisher. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, she's posting the oh. shit to what? <laughs> what publisher is this? <laughs> we got money? Yeah, I, I mean, she must be very successful that the publishers are like, you know, we have to keep her. Mm -hmm. She's the only reason why we're getting cash flow. In the it's either that or the the company, the CEO of the company is our father. Oh, shit. Well, we'll find out. All right. Chapter five. Where's my penny? Actually, I think I lost the penny. Oh, you shit. You lost penny? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> how did we lose penny? <laughs> I thought we were penny. Who is penny? Why is penny? <laughs> What is penny? Yeah. Okay, so instead of a penny, I got I have my my copy of Pokemon Sword. We can flip this. So do you want to be the cover with the dog with the sword or do you want to be the side that has the instructions of how to play the game? I'm gonna be instructions. Alright, so instructions you read, doggy, I read. Cool. Alright, I read. Hopefully everyone heard the big ass thud it made. All right, chapter five. All right, I made sure to that everything's in here, so we should. Be... <laughs> oh shit! Do I need to send you what these <laughs> what these are? Yeah, maybe. Oh yeah, I yeah. Just sorry. Guess. <laughs> uh, no, we're good. I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> Ta -da. I mean, we've only been using her first name. Yeah, <laughs> that's that. You'll use it for everything. Favorite color? Yeah. Penny. Uh, hair length? Penny. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your room was. Wait, a mess. what is FN? FN? Yeah, it's at the end. Oh, but that was like a last fan fiction I read. It was like farm name, so 
though was like the name of your farm. We were doing Stardew Valley stuff. So. Oh, I was like farm name. Yeah, that was the Bill Nye thing. So like our first name was Bill Nye and we're like, what should our farm name be? Like, what should the farm be named? And they're like, mm, we should do like the science lab. And I'm like, no, I'm based. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. All right. Chapter five. Your, your room was a mess with paper and ink. You managed to get your hands in some notebook and pen and begin writing your ideas of a story you had been writing before your car accident. It was so hard trying to remember all the details that you had to put it in your book. Everything about it was blurry. You even had trouble remembering some of the characters' names. Okay, what? I mean, she did. It was a head injury, right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, she's yeah. in a... I guess yeah, yeah, her yeah. memories are kind of whack. Good morning, Penny. Penguin said, entering the room. Just seeing all the notes scattered either on the floor or on her bed. Is it coming together? No, I just can't remember why August was a detective. It was stressful, like forgetting something you knew. You knew? Wait. That you knew you knew. Oh, that- okay. <laughs> I don't know why that fucked me up so much. <laughs> and breaking your head just to know what it was. You shouldn't be trying to- You shouldn't be trying too hard, Hango said, putting your medication on the counter. You should try to relax a bit more and let it come to you back to you naturally. I know, but it's my job, and this is a story I've been waiting for years to write. You crushed the piece of paper that you were writing and threw it away in desperation. But you are right. Maybe it'll be better to just leave it to rest until everything is back. Miss Thompson? Law knocked on the door, then stepping in to see that you were still there. You had muscle therapy in ten minutes, and he wasn't sure if they had already taken you. Good evening, Dr. Trafalgar. What can I do for you? Law was about to answer when he saw the mess that you had on the floor in bed. He couldn't believe how many paper sheets there were and was a little bit annoyed by it. <laughs> if you could stop wasting paper, that would be nice, he said. <laughs> wow, that's so rude. Yeah, that is. We're trying our best here. We're recovering. Yeah, we're, we're like writing the hottest. It's like Zosan fanfiction that we're. <laughs> We're spitting out bars right now. We're writing, like, gossip yeah, shakespeare absolutely. lines. You know, the absolute tender way they, like... I'm gonna say tender despite the fact that they beat each other up every chance they get. Yeah. Oh, and Zoro and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, one of my colleagues is bringing my laptop tomorrow. Ozzy's expression turned to a serious one. I would recommend not to use it until we confirm everything is okay with you. If you stress out, you can fall into a coma again. Wait, is that real? Like, can you can you I, do that? You, you just stress yourself into a coma. So I, I guess um, when you get out of a coma, like your brain is still very sensitive, right? I don't know. I don't know nothing about comas. <laughs> oh my! I I'm just study rock. I specifically asked you to read this because of your knowledge of comas. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh my God. I just didn't study epicomas. <laughs> I studied commas. It's like you lied on your application. <laughs> <laughs> I sure did. Oh my god. What? Oh shit. It was like an old ass TikTok. It was like when TikTok was becoming a thing. It was like, guys, I lied <laughs> on my app. I applied for too many jobs. And I wasn't apply like, uh, oh shit. What was it called? Like, um, qualified for? What do I do? And he's like, about to go. Like, he's about to be a judge. <laughs> In a courtroom? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's you right now with the. <laughs> well, I, I guess we can just fall back, I guess. <laughs> he pulled your medication records out. And now that we're on that topic, I want to consult you about all the. all this incidents you've had before. Incidents? Penguin said. Owning another one of Law's glances that meant shut up. He did so as so and walked out of there. Damn, do we have like like are we have, are we like one of the people that have so many fucking issues or we're like on medication 24-7 or what? Oh gosh. Well we're about to find out, I guess. Almost hospitalized because of high blood pressure, appointments due to migraine, anxiety, and gastrotin. Intestinal. Gastrointestinal problems. Law closed the records. You have several 
problem related to stress. This is because of this incident. Wait, this is the cause of this incident happening before. And I wouldn't be surprised it would be a part of the things that made your coma longer. Your body is weak. Damn. <laughs> weak. L brain. That's so disrespectful. You're weak. Yeah. You could have just. I feel like you keep better. It's like. If you can't sustain this. But I mean, I get it. Yeah. Girl needs to take a fucking break and not work so much, and I don't think us writing in this notebook is helping us. Gosh. You could have just said, you have stress problems, don't work too hard. You corrected him. It felt like he was giving you a lesson for being careless, and you had your dad to do that already. Miss Thompson, we've already told you this before. He pointed out. He pointed out, cornering you. Crushed your arms and pouted. If you're not careful, you can fall into a coma again. Just like you said before. Oh, just like I said before. Log crosses arms as well. Am I clear about your situation? Dot dot dot. <laughs> you hesitated to answer, but you couldn't do anything else at, by that point. Yes. Good. He said, satisfied to, to hear it. The nurses will monitor you often and see how you're doing. We need to run a tomography. What the fuck is that? <laughs> All this medical jargon is confusing. <laughs> Tomorrow, to see how you are developing. So try to be as calm as you can, because the scan may stress you a bit. Yet, it's necessary to see if there's still something wrong. That sounds a little oxymoron if you ask me. You mumbled, still crossing your arms. I heard it and gave you an annoying look that you, that you kind of ignored by looking away. Miss Thompson, are you ready for your muscle therapy? One of the nurses peeked inside to see both of you. Law and you giving each other menacing looks. I can reschedule if you need to. She began to walk away slowly, but was called back. Nurse, take her to her appointment right now. Law said, leaving the room, still annoyed and cursing under his breath. He couldn't believe that someone that, that, while asleep, had been the nicest company he had in a long time turned out to be so annoying and a smart <laughs> No, no wonder why she made good Kudos company. We made did it. it. Yeah. Dude, we were in a coma. <laughs> no wonder why I made great company, because we didn't talk. <laughs> Sorry about that. He heard He heard you say to the nurse, just as he stepped outside. I'm just having troubles getting back on track. Nala felt bad. He peeked inside a little to see you collecting all the notes you had on your bed. I felt that he did something wrong. I mean, technically not. He could he, he could have just been a little nicer about it. Yeah. Yeah, instead of being like, you have several records of, like, stress-related shit, and you gotta not do this anymore. Quit your job. Yeah, go, quit your job. Go travel. Go for a walk. Touch Maybe grass. <laughs> Touch grass. Yeah. I love when people suck and say to touch grass. <laughs> I felt that- oh yeah, what you did was wrong. Might have been a little rough on you. You had woken up from a coma after all, and it was going to be hard for you to get back to normal. You should have been more careful of what he said. After all, it wasn't your fault that you ended up in that situation. But still, you need to take care of yourself better or you would fall. And the idea popped into his head. Maybe he needed advice on how to treat his case more delicately. Are you about to- is he about to ask for advice on how to talk to women nicely? <laughs> or just talk to patients nicely? Yes, he is. Yeah. That's so funny though. Could you imagine like you, you're like eavesdropping like at the door at your doctor's office and they're like, How do I be nice to them? Yeah. <laughs> You walk by the, the office and they're like, so how do I have to be nice to my patients? Like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I feel like he should, I know it starts off with the uh, Kikuwa, I can't pronounce it right, but I feel like he should ask Penguin and, and Sashi, because they're always really nice to the patients. <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. Yeah. I'm this is so funny to read. Because I have no idea what any of these people look like, except for Law. 
Uh, I, if you want. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, in the last chapter, didn't we meet Beppo? The, the dog. Not gonna lie, I was... <laughs> what? <laughs> it was really dumb. <laughs> Wait, what's his name? It's like... Hem Hemepo? I thought that was like that guy. But it's like a shortened version. <laughs> but I- now that uh, I, I think about it, it was a dog. Yeah, it, uh, Beppo. What does this dog look like? Oh, well I could send you a picture Beppo. of what Beppo looks like. I'm on the case with Goo. Yeah, Beppo One Piece. He's really cute. He's really Google. funny. And in the, uh, I don't know what you're watching it in sub or dub, but in the- in the sub, whenever he calls his captain, he's like, Captain! But uh, I watch it dubbed because I have a hard time reading. <laughs> but he, he's really cute. And then uh, Penguin and Sachi are also part of like the, the main four of the, the Heart Pirates. Actually, you know what? Oh! Are yeah, you looking at Beppo? <laughs> I'm trying to, but <laughs> this thing is so slow. <laughs> if you want, I can send you a polar bear mink. Yeah, yeah. I love Wikipedia. Yeah, it's like a sentient uh, polar bear. Yeah, he's really I cute. <laughs> so cute. There's this. I don't know, it says there's like a starter deck, and it's got this picture of him, and he looks so like kind of embarrassed. And oh, he's so with his head down? Yeah. Oh yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, Beppo, like, he, whenever someone yells at him or like is a little stir, he's like, oh, I'm sorry, and he gets a little sad. <laughs> oh. He's like, he's like, don't apologize, man, you didn't do anything. Like, <laughs> yeah, so he does that a lot. So Alrighty, look. I I can't fucking read this. I Taku. I don't think I met this lady yet, but it's okay. Luck called called his secretary, who looked up to see Law leaning on her desk. How can I help you, doctor? He said. Oh, sorry. She, she said, leaving her pen on the table to put her full attention to him. I need your advice on something. He said awkwardly. I don't know how I can manage the patient in one of my cases. The coma girl? He nodded. It wasn't easy for her. It was easy for her to guess. After all, is that the patient required limited amount of interaction while your case required actual exchange of sentences because he was in charge of your recovery, not your operations? Did she bite you or something? And just fucking like, chomp. <laughs> I don't know how to treat her, he admitted. She's being defensive and annoying, he said, looking irritated. But I guess it's because he, she needs to get used to how things are now. Law actually worried about a patient, Naku said, earning another one of Law's glares. Sorry, doctor. You know, just take small steps with her. She needs to go slow and steady, and you can be sometimes a little impulsive and aggressive. If you understand her a little more, it might help. I don't have time to have tea with her and talk about insecurities and stuff. He said, damn. <laughs> what if I have time to do that? <laughs> do you know how fast I would sell out so many friends to have the opportunity to go on a date with this man? <laughs> I think I say you TikToks like that. <laughs> that were just like... Bro, he'd make so much money. What, uh, like... Like, law having tea with people? Yeah. Having tea, talking about insecurities. Dude, I give him, like, hundreds. I'm worried I'm not good enough for the people around me. I need to try harder, but if I try harder, I'm gonna burn myself out and I'm gonna drop dead. Why is that so me? <laughs> Dude, you call me out. It's too early. 21st for century problems. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, God. But you can read her books. Ikoi turned her screen monitor to him, showing some books that with your initials on it. He was interested. He has more than I thought, and they really do really, they, and they do really good if you see the reviews. What kind of books are they? 
Lal walked behind the desk and turned the monitor to see more of it. He had a good carrier as a writer, as far as he could see. Mystery novels were your best books, and you were currently on a detective saga that had stopped mysteriously, according to an article. <laughs> Her publisher might not want people to know that about the incident. He deducted. Interesting. Damn, so they're just like, Damn, that's that's crazy! The book stopped? Wow! Meanwhile, wow. <laughs> It's okay if it hurts a little. It's part of the recovery for all your strength, said the nurse, helping you back into bed. If the pain is not gone by tomorrow, I'll let Dr. Trafalgar... I'll tell Dr. Trafalgar so he can prescribe you something. Thank you, he said, laying on the bed again. You sighed as you saw no trace of paper or your pen around. Someone must have taken it. Wow, he just took our fucking notes. Wow! Are you serious? Yeah. We're like trying to recover from this coma, get some brain activity, you know, recover our, our, our tr like our, our dropped series, and he's just gonna steal our sh shit? What if you like already read the mystery novels and like just at, like without knowing who you were and then he's like just trying to like see if he could guess the ending? <laughs> Oh my god. Would you do that? If you found out, if you were a doctor and knew your favorite author was in the- Your favorite a your favorite fanfiction author oh, in dude. a coma, would you peek through their shit? Yes! Oh my god! Dude, there's just one I keep reading. I, I would love to read it for a Wattpad video, but like, I'm pretty sure the contents are very mature and I- and it's like 200 chapters now. We could just read it for self-indulgence. Yeah, yeah. It's it was a uh, shit TikTok. Was, okay, it was Passion of a Pirate and like, oh shit. Let me let me pull up the exact chapter amount because I want someone Why else do I to believe. Feel me. Like, okay, what is this on? Is it on? It's on Wattpad. Okay, because I feel like I've heard of it. You know, despite me being an avid Ao3 user. Yeah, I found. I found it on because I was searching hashtag and I, I, I hashtag search Sanji and I found the book and I'm like I can't mm -hmm. believe I found this. This is such a masterpiece. And then I happened to find this person's Instagram and I was looking through the photos. They attended GalaxyCon with us. In oh our my god! Could you imagine if we were like in the background of one of the photos? Yeah, and I realized like because it showed some of the the. The, the pictures from Galaxy Con and Raleigh. And mm -hmm. um, they were the Boa Hancock at the at the One Piece meetup. And I'm like, oh my god, my favorite book the authors was right there. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm like, damn, oh. I looked like a fool. <laughs> no, you looks cool as Sanji. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's 187 chapters. I think they finally did the deed in 184. <gasps> 184? Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, dude, this is a slow, slow burn. burner. Yeah, but you, you gotta appreciate a slow burner. Okay. You said 100. Did you say 184 chapters? Well, it's 187. 184 87. is when they actually do the deed uninterrupted. Is there like a word count? Oh, I do not know. Uh, I don't think Wattpad doesn't tell you the word counts dang. unless the author's nice and puts it at the bottom. But, uh,. I mean, I got through it in a week, and then just kept up- like, kept updating it with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean, but, okay, back to the conversation. Yes, I absolutely <laughs> would. <laughs> if I was- like, they had the ending to the Passion of a Pirate book, I would take that shit hard. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so funny. But honestly, same. Yeah. I'll leave the rest to you. The nurse walked away with a warm smile, leaving you alone in the room. Or so you- or so did you thought. Ahem. <laughs> Law clearly cleared his throat, making you turn to him sitting in a small armchair in the corner of the room, the same spot he used to sit in his month in the ER. Don't do that, you can give me a heart attack, he yelled. I thought I needed to be calm and all that stuff. I apologize. I was waiting for you and the nurse. I didn't expect my presence to go unnoticed. Actually, Law kind of mind how he didn't know uh, they didn't notice him sitting there. It was like he was invisible for a moment. Anyway, he stood with something under his arm and he left it in the small table next to you. It has no Wi-Fi connection, so don't try to look for videos and stuff. And it 
Turns out very quickly. Oh, it turns out. Okay, it, it turns off. Okay. <laughs> very quickly. Right as much as the battery lasts. And when it turns off, let it go. He crosses his arms. They had the power cable, so don't try anything. You look at his gray, cold eyes and s and smile, taking what you what you now knew to be an old laptop. You aren't that bad after all. <laughs> look at look at him being nice. Wow. The bar is low. <laughs> <laughs> the bar is real low. A man, a, an emo boy that's all cold, showing me a slight amount of affection. Oh my god, I'm oh my folding. God. <laughs> Like an armchair. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I'm so glad someone else does that too. Like a lawn chair. I said an armchair and I had to think about it. I'm just like, that is not how that goes. Oh, I, thought, I really thought you said lawn chair. <laughs> Perfect. Ignore what I just said. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, I'm so glad someone else says that. Because whenever I say I fold it like, like a lawn chair. <laughs> now you better say it. Now you got me tripping, man. <laughs> You were gonna say lawn chair. I, I Arm chair. <laughs> I can't. Uh, maybe we gotta go to the hospital. <laughs> maybe <laughs> we're. Maybe chair. this is a coma, a joint coma. Our yeah. consciousness are connected. We're the government's gonna, gonna want to study this. Yeah, they want to study this. <laughs> I don't think they do. <laughs> I mean, it's a joint coma. Yeah, I guess you're right. We're both like. It's like we're all having our different lives in our coma right now, and it and we only fuse our coma so we read fan fiction again. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> and they're like, "Oh, I'm interesting." They're writing notes, analyzing our brain. <laughs> they start writing fan fiction. Yeah. They use it to hypnotize the masses. There, there's fan fiction writers out there studying this to see if they can help, and they're like, "Write that down, write that down," and they're like publishing it. <laughs> <laughs> they're taking credit. Yeah. No, they wouldn't. They'd be like inspired by those two, those two kids in a coma. Yeah. <laughs> two kids in a coma. Yeah, inspired. <laughs> Heavily inspired. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, go ahead, man. You got this. Okay, Cheering let's see you. if I can. Thank you, thank you. Good morning, Tra the <laughs> Good morning, Doctor Trafalgar. You said as you as you walked in the room. I made a drawing of you. You said showing him a really bad drawing of him with a frown and a sad face. I know it's not good, but I'm a writer, not an artist. Law smirked. Are you getting bored? Law asked, checking on her progress. The nurses told me you were playing cards with them yesterday. You looked under your pillow and pulled the deck of cards. We can play if you want to, you said, and you went to all the nurses and you were ready to kick his ass. I found the deck of cards inside a pillow in that closet, and there's a little weird things around. She pulled out a comic book too. Law face palms, noticing that Penguin had not recovered all his stuff after you had woken up. Keep the deck, Law said, but give, that, give all the comic books you find to me. One of my colleagues left them there by mistake. Now, Law approached you to do his daily checkup. You had done this for a week already, and you were both done with it, to be honest. But it needs to be done. Sleep? Better. I still wake up late, you said as he checked your pupils. How about the headaches? He turned to check your pulse to assure it was okay. It's all fine now. I only had a small one in the morning when I woke up. You handed the deck of cards. Pick one. La hesitated a bit, but ended up picking one card after you put, a, <laughs> you put up a puppy face. Your progress seems to be... Working out just fine, Miss Thompson. He looked at his card, King of Hearts, and then put it back in the deck. If you keep up like this, you're going to be discharged by Friday. Really? Your eyes sparkled with emotion. It had been the weirdest and hardest time of your life, getting all your things together, learning everything you had missed out on, and getting back into some stuff in your life. Is this your card? You you pulled the card out, but he shook his head. He was about to lie... He was about to lie about the card. You often look for ways to entertain yourself like this, and he tried to help you from time to time. Mostly because he caught you counting words and <laughs> counting words in the newspaper at one time. Wait, is it in your pocket? He said, pointing to his white coat. No way, he said, feeling something as soon as he put his hand inside. He pulled out his card. He was actually impressed. He looked at, he looked at you proud and cut. He looked at your proud and kind smile. I didn't know you did magic tricks, Penny. <laughs> I forgot our name. No, well, you don't. <laughs> yeah, it's, in the, it's in the sub, like because it doesn't happen I in the sub. But uh, like he ends people's names with yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> okay. He messed up. He had, he had not said you he had not said your name like this before. It was not professional. I'm sorry, Miss Thompson. Please, you interrupted him. Call me Penny. I would really prefer it that way if I'm being honest. I don't really like formalities. You put the card you put the deck of cards back where you were hiding it. Mr. Trafalgar? He he felt his head heat up for a second. If you prefer it that way. I like it would be like Penny ya? Yeah, Penny ya. Okay, gotcha. Thank you. Mm. He felt nervous calling you by your name, and for some reason it felt weird. It was kinda cute. He almost tricked he was he was almost tricked by his own thought. He tried to dismiss it by walking away from you. He needed to attend an emergency. He managed to say, walking outside the room without looking back, leaving you confused. Confused. What's wrong, doctor? Ikaku placed some patient files on in his desk. He found him staring at the King of Hearts card like it was evidence of a murder case. <laughs> Nothing. He dismissed it, putting the card next to him on the desk. The Keller files are here. He looked almost. He asked, looking through the files of his most recent case. Yes, and the results from the surgery from yesterday are there, too. Law looked through the files while Ikaku watched him. She knew there was something up because he would glance at the card after reading one or two pages. What is this? She grabbed the card, but Law tried to stop her but couldn't reach it. Nothing. He composed himself, getting back to his files, acting like nothing happened, and ignored Ikaku, but still glancing at her from time to time. Law had this weird feeling about you. Something was just off when he was with you. Maybe it was because you were his first full patient and, talk, uh, and talking was part of his job right now. Or maybe he just found you interesting. He found it weird how you would write all you could in the old laptop he, that he gave you and erase everything, feeling it was not good enough, just to be frustrated because you kind of liked what you had wrote. How, how you find distractions in everything around you and how you had managed to befriend nurses and doctors out of nowhere. I got you that. She pointed at the book lying at his desk. He had not noticed it at all. He reached for the book, Bohemian Retake. It was, was written on the cover. And the author was... The author was you. I'll leave you to work. She crossed her arms and walked away with a smirk on her face. Bro, he was thinking about her, and I was like, oh my god, he's thinking about her. He's yeah. thinking about us. I'm gonna... Oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> We're in his thoughts always. Yeah. <laughs> in his prayers. <laughs> Not in his prayers. <laughs> you, you don't know. I mean, he prays for us. Mm -hmm. I mean, he'll, maybe he'll do that. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna finish no, gonna, that thought. You wanna type it? <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't. I'm okay, gonna okay. that. <laughs> well, man, I told you my shitty thing. <laughs> I'll, put it, I'll, I'll think about it later. Okay. He was not gonna. He was not going to read it. That was his intention. That was his intention. But no one. But one thing led to another, and he ended up taking the book home and reading it. Beppo was fast asleep in Law's lap when he kept reading it. It was engaging nonetheless, and had not stopped reading since he had started. He wasn't a fan of mystery books, but he had just a way to catch his attention. In the first few pages, he kept going until he realized it was already two a.m. Let's go to sleep, Beppo, Law said, and already sleep, Beppo, who had to wake up so Law could head to bed with uh, with the book still in his hand. He was already in bed, but couldn't take his eyes off the book. He needed answers about it and decided to finish it, and he did, three hours later. Oh my god, this is, this is like live footage of me reading a fan fiction and being like, oh, hold on, I gotta go to bed. And then I'm like, can't stop thinking about it, so I ended up staying up the whole time. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Yeah, that that this is it. I don't know how they f were able to find this out. <laughs> Th that's kind of like bad though. Like, a he's a doctor. He's got to check on his patients. He didn't finish till five a.m. What time does his shift start? Mm. What is he doing? I mean, if you, I mean, have you ever seen a picture of Law? He always looks tired. My God. <laughs> yeah, he does. He does. Yeah. He looks strongly. <laughs> yeah. I mean, am I wrong? Are you gonna look at me? You're gonna tell me that I'm. You're not wrong. <laughs> he came down in a bubble dog. Okay. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. She said the fire. She came down in a bubble dog. 
He <laughs> was a witch! <laughs> <laughs> it is my was favorite her, thing. And what was her sister? The wicked witch of the East <laughs> You're like, you tell me that I'm wrong. <laughs> No, I gotta I find it all after the, this. I got I quote that all the time. You're gonna look at me and you're gonna tell me that I'm wrong. Am I wrong? She came down in a bubble, dude. I'm gonna find it after we finish this shit. I'll get back to it as soon as I I'll get back to it as soon as I leave, boss. You changed your phone. You changed your phone to the other ear. You've been so nice to me. I couldn't thank you enough. You're important to our team. Be sure you are well rested and prepared before doing anything, your boss said. It was the first one you call after waking up. It took him more time just because he was out of town and didn't know you were awake. I have a meeting, but I'll visit you soon. Get rest and get better. Thank you again. Good luck. He, hang he hanged up, leaving you alone in, the in room 207 until Law just entered it. J Law just entered with all his files in hand. Good evening. Evening. Good evening, doctor. Doctor. Yep. Just Good evening, doctor. miss. Just I was like, oh god. <laughs> Good evening, miss. He swallowed. Good evening, Penny. Uh, how are you feeling? He asked, starting the daily examination. But you notice something. What do you want to know? You asked bluntly. You're really good at reading people, and he wanted to ask something. He could feel it. I just asked, how are you feeling? He said coldly. My bad. You, you have something else on your mind. He had indeed. The book he had read hadn't had left him with some some questions he was eager to know, but the answers he thought but he thought it was a better idea not to ask. What is it? But now you had asked. I've read one of your books, he said, returning to check out, not noticing your eyes shining with happiness. You loved your work and seeing people reading it made you happy, more than anything. You said what had happened to the main character after the end after the end of her wife. Wait. What happened to the main character after the end of her wife in the end? Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> that was really hard for me. <laughs> Don't worry, it was hard for me to listen. How <laughs> <laughs> oh, dare you? Dude, that Bohemian... gave me a stroke. <laughs> oh gosh. Bohemian retake, you guessed. It's an open it's an open ending. You said open owning a frustrated look from Law, who had spent all night awake reading it, to be left confused in the end. He wanted to expand, but I wanted to expand on it in my drafts. If you really wanted to know, you said, leaning closer to him so you could whisper, I think he would not be able to cope with it and would go back to bedding. Your voice in his ear made him shiver. It wasn't even in a seductive way, but he <laughs> felt something that made him nervous and confused. He stepped back not knowing how to react. I know. And is that... Is not that good. You looked him straight in the eye. That's why it ended up being that way. She is trouble. Law sent it. Said to himself. I love this comment of this. This makes me think of the time Luffy pranked this reading of. <laughs> Don't remember that. <laughs> is like a comment on the video or comment on the comment on the <laughs> on the book, like on the chapter. Like, at the very end, there's comments. Oh my gosh, I gotta look through those. You know I'm liking the comment. <laughs> there's a couple of comments. Relatable. Me writing an essay. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, because you can comment on certain parts. Where is that commented? It, it, at the, it's just at the end? Yeah, at the very end. All, it's a collection of the comments, and it's like... This, <laughs> Luffy practice reading a book. I don't think Luffy in the show has ever touched a book. He doesn't even read the fucking newspaper. <laughs> a book. He, he looks at pictures. The only yeah. picture is wanted poster. Yeah. They even make a point of it during like uh, one of the arcs. They're like, "Don't you not read the newspaper and know what's going on?" And he's like, "Nah, not me. Usually reads the newspaper. I think that's boring." <laughs> no, he only cares if his bounty goes up. That's the only thing he finds in the newspaper. That is that is so funny. Hmm. All right, chapter. Yep, seven. I can read out Roman numerals. Okay. Law stood again in front of room two o seven. The day prior, he had excused himself after your little whispering thing. Dude, we're really even sexual, man. We were just like, 
We're he's gonna go back to gambling. <laughs> yeah, he's just gonna go back to his addiction. How yeah. else is he gonna cope? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, let's see, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Never mind. <laughs> it was just weird for him, but after talking, thinking about it, he, he came to the conclusion that there was nothing to worry about, and he was just tired. He dismissed his thoughts again and answered 207, but something wasn't right. Good mor- You weren't there. <laughs> Your bed was messy, and the old laptop was already out of battery. I knocked on the bathroom door, but you didn't answer, making him open it to find no one in there. Miss Thompson? He called you. Penia? He exited the room worried, looking at the nearby nurse. Have you seen two of the 207 patient? The white girl? <laughs> the white? You mean the white girl? Well, okay, because I just haven't we... said, so it just said the white girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> the white haired girl. so funny. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, no, it was like, oh, the white girl, I thought we made her tan. <laughs> uh, she asked, confused. Law nodded with a, a dead serious expression on his face. He walked that way a few moments ago, while watching the direction the nurse gave him, not looking back, but cursing the nurse for, at, at her for not, for not stopping you from leaving her, your room. He walked fast to the hospital, checking in certain rooms and asking anyone he encountered about your whereabouts. He managed to follow some of the places you were, but somehow every time he arrived, you had already left. He got annoyed and frustrated. Ah? Penguin asked, bumping into him. Law had his menacing aura around him that screamed danger. He looked tired of looking for you. Is everything okay? Have you seen 207 patient? He repeated for the 26th time, ignoring his question. <laughs> yeah, she's right in that section. Penguin pointed at the section. Are you sure that you're... Law walked away, ignoring Penguin, while he just stood there, confused. <laughs> Law walked inside the section and saw your face. He had finally got you. He was ready to call you up so you can go back to your room for checkup and then your muscle therapy, but something caught him so by surprise. He was in the kids' section of the hospital. It, it took long enough to notice. He didn't notice the sudden change in wallpaper and the colorful shapes and toys scattered around the area, but... He did notice a bunch of kids listening to you as you read them a book. Oh, this is nice! Oh, he's got a soft spot for kids! Maybe... Why, maybe. I know we have a I mean, soft spot for kids that we just wandered over yeah, here. But he has, he's got a, spawn, a soft spot for us reading to kids. Nice. He, he, I could already feel him imagining our, the, the life we'll have together. Uh, oh, shit. How many, how many kids do you think he wants? I don't feel like he'd want kids. Three. He'd be like... Three? Oh, three. Oh, yeah. dang. Or may maybe like two, like a nuclear family kind of thing. Like you got a successful like husband that brings in the the money. <laughs> but we're also successful. Yeah, I guess we got right. we got a cool book. Yeah, <laughs> we got cool. <laughs> we, got, we got cool books. He felt something warm in his chest, seeing you read them. All listening carefully, some even laying on your lap to be more comfortable. You looked happy. When the cat walked back to the home, he saw the moon shining bright. You said, still reading the book. Law had stayed there listening to you read it as well, obviously behind your back not to disturb you. The cat opened the door and saw his mom still waiting for him on the couch. He smiled and slowly approached her and snuggled next to her, going to sleep as well. When he heard his mom's voice say, Good night, my angel. You slowly closed the book. For some reason, I didn't like when you said like wait for her on the couch. I thought this was gonna like I thought this was Law smiling and moving towards Penny. For some reason, my fucking brain fucked up that one. <laughs> we want another book. So said so one of the kids getting closer to you. Yeah, read this one. A girl said. No, no, no. Read us this one. A boy approached her with a bright red book. She'll be more than happy to read another book, while his voice behind you sent shivers down your spine. You turned to face him with the best smile you could put on, but she has to take her medicine in a quick checkup. You didn't... You didn't mean to go out your room, but you were bored and the nurses didn't stop you, so you thought it was okay to see a different area of the hospital. Now let's go, he said with a serious expression, scaring the kids around you. Do 
go take her, monster! Instead, one of the kids throwing a plush at Lost Face, being followed by, by the other kids. <laughs> it's an assault. <laughs> it's attacking this man. Stop right there, you. Stop right there, you brats! He complained angrily. He could easily throw the toys back at them. <laughs> it's fucking pummels. <laughs> yeah, they're just pummeling him with toys. Yeah. Wait, kids, he's a good guy. He's, you said, but standing in between. He should help me feel better, just like your doctors. I'll come later to read to you all, I promise. The kids left the toys, but kept looking at Law as you both walked away. Law glared at them with his annoying face. With his annoyed face, while they all stuck their tongues out at him. Give them a break. But they... They are bored. You excuse them. It was true. That's why you were there. You saw they weren't doing anything but being medicated for for them to feel better. Not being able to go out or play harsh games. Well, I didn't dare to comment on it. I'm sorry for leaving my room. Tell a nurse where you're heading next time or ask someone to go with you, was all he said. He could have yelled at you, but something just wouldn't let him. What? Thought she caught his attention while walking back. He was surprised to see him around the, that part of the hospital, and and he was even more surprised to see him with another human being. Is that the patient from 207, he asked? <coughs> God. <laughs> ooh, ooh, he knows. <laughs> yeah, they're like, uh, I bet there's some kind of betting thing going on right now. Yeah. Like, between, like... I hope so. Like, between Penguin and Sachi, they're, like, betting of, like, how fast. Because, like, he's actually getting comfortable with the patient. And liking uh -huh. liking this girl, and they're like, hey, like, twenty bucks says that <laughs> like they get together. <laughs> I do fifty. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they're all into betting system. <laughs> Penny Thompson, nice to meet you. You presented yourself, offering your hand for a shake. Sachi was confused that he was more than happy to meet you. Sachi, he you shook your hand while Law glanced at him with a dis disappointed look. He hated when you used their names so carelessly. Oh, when they used their names, it was not professional at all. Are you heading to your room? Yes, Dr. Grafalker is helping me back. He smiled. He smiled? Why would he smile? <laughs> he immediately removed his smile before one of you could notice. It was nice to meet you. The pleasure is mine, Sashi said, waving like an idiot as you and Law walked away. Law hurried, to, hurried you up to avoid you and Sashi interacting more. If he had talked too much, he would talk about things he didn't want to talk about, and maybe spill the tea about him staying in your room for a whole month while you were still in a coma. I mean, we're just in there to, like... Like, Law was in there just to get away from everything. Yeah, I mean... But that's kind of weird, like, could you imagine? Random stranger. Like you're, like, you're asleep, and some random person is just using your, your quarters as, like, a break room. Yeah, I guess you're right. I mean, Sasha fucking Penguin was in the ring comics. <laughs> That's weird. Anyway. You know what? I feel like I'd be fine with that. Comic books? What are you reading? Are you reading Transformers? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we gotta have our coma for a quick second. Right? Come on, read, yeah. read it to me. Tell me what's happening, and then we yeah, go back. <laughs> I feel like you know what? If they were like in there reading to me, I'd I'd be fine with that. Yeah, you know. Yeah, this is a note to anyone. If I ever go in a coma, I need you to read Passion of a Pirate to me whenever it updates. I, I will. I'll do it. I'll read you everything. Thank you. And I'll, I'll read you the best AO3 books I could find. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. Gotta get number one in kudos. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> read me some indie stuff, too. Short bite date. Yeah. <laughs> For a little treat. Yeah, a little treat. A little treat. <laughs> <Wait>. <laughs> I saw something like that on Twitter. It was like me trying to save my money so I don't buy a little treat. But because I did something good, I should buy myself a little treat. <laughs> and I'm like, damn, they got my ass. <laughs> Your friend seems nice. You spoke while he was doing the checkup. He turned his attention to you for a moment but didn't answer, continuing the checkup. Is Penguin your friend too? Oh, I didn't answer again. It was a topic he didn't discuss with patients or people in general. They were his friends, but he wouldn't just admit that. Are they your love? <laughs> <laughs> your lovers? Yeah. 
<laughs> that caught me off guard. Are they your lovers? He looks at you confused and defensive. Damn. <laughs> wait, like, wait, hold on. What are these 11 comments? Yes, bingo. What, bro? This, it's the writer in her. Fan fiction writers be like. <laughs> oh. Yep. I love it. They are not. I love the polycule. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, go based. They are not, he responded. They're just my colleagues. He smiled. He was funny to tease. I know, I was just kidding. You winked at him playfully, but you couldn't react properly. He just stared at you, even more confused. I'm sorry, I just made- Sorry, I just made you uncomfortable. Just don't mention it again, he managed to say, getting back to the checkup before someone knocked on the door. A big old man opened it. He looked to be in his 50s, yet it was pretty imponent. Huh? Yeah, his opponent, and looked out of place there. Can I help you? The man didn't even look at Law. His stare was stuck on you. Oops, sorry. <laughs> I thought you were, like, starting to do, like, a voice. Like, you're gonna do, like, some old gravelly voice for this old man. Yeah, no, I just burped. <laughs> Should I try? Okay, I can try. Whew. I'm so sorry, honey. He said, approaching you with a sad smile. Norma said it wasn't a good idea to visit you till you woke up. It's okay, boss. I'm glad you can see me. He patted your head nicely. Norma's right. What's the point of visiting me if I'm not awake anyway? Well, I heard that sometimes people in comas could hear, can listen or smell things even in their sleep. Law tensed up when he heard that. Was there a chance that you knew? Maybe his voice and his smell. Maybe something he had done. I just- I'm just glad to see you- see you, kiddo. I brought you your phone so you can text me when you're out of here and- He looked in his pocket. Your apartment keys. I didn't know what to do without you, boss. You ignored Law, who was testing your pulse and hugging your boss. He was like a father to you. I knew it. Your dad. Yeah. Well, he was like a father. Like a father. Yeah, we can have like- you know, like, the found family trope and whatnot? Yeah! It's kind of like that. He could be, like, our father figure. Could you at least wait till I'm done? Law said, annoyed. Who's this guy? Your boss asked, looking at him with a dead serious face. Dr. Trafalgar. He's my doctor until I leave here. You looked at him right in the eyes. He's making sure I'm getting better and not falling into a coma again. You knew how protective your boss was. He's doing a great job. Huh? Wait. <laughs> what? I, I I decided to read the comment when they said, "Who's this guy?" And he's like, one of the comments is, "He's my new pet cricket." <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> my new pet cricket. I just read their username. What is their username? It's left arm. <laughs> Oh my god. Don't they ship, uh, don't people ship Lawn, kid? Yeah, cause, like, um, it, it's in the anime. There's, like, these things called Supernova. It's kind of, like, just kind of putting a preface on that like, the Straw Hats are not the only pirates that are getting big. There's other ones out there with a big bounty. Mm -hmm. And so, I think it's Luffy, Law, and Kid that make up, like, the trio or, like, the Supernovas. Since they're often seen together a lot. Are I didn't they, know Law and Kid were shipped together. Hold on, uh, hold on. Let me cook. Hold on. No, it's because I was okay. Hold on, okay. Look, look it up. Law I, X I, Kid. I ask. I ask because I read a fanfic the other day. Mm -hmm. Oh, I it see. It was. <laughs> it was. It was Zosan, but it was like on the side. It was like hinted that like I don't know Kid and Law, and I was like, okay, what is this? Who are these people? Dude, but, I'm seeing photos. We got all right. No, we <laughs> gotta read it next if we find. One. We're putting it on the wheel. Yeah, wheel. Don't worry, there will be a wheel made. <laughs> uh, I'm glad to hear that, Penny. Your voice, no, uh, your boss confronted Law, who even being with a guy so big and scary didn't show fear or nervousness and annoyance. When will she be back into our routine? When she feels ready to do it, but she needs to do it slowly until she's 100% recovered. Law crosses arms. Until that, I'll be taking care of her. Let's go. What do these two comments say? 
dirty mind, and then one reply going, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I gotta look at a picture of Kid. Is, it, is that the arm that he doesn't have? <laughs> Hold on. I don't know. I think yeah. it is. I mean, it's gotta be. One Piece. Oh my god, it is the arm that he doesn't have. <laughs> Damn, dude! That is savage to name- That's like me naming myself! Oh shit, hold on, let me make sure I get the joke right before I say- It'll be- it'll be Sanji's childhood innocence. Oh. <laughs> uh, it's like Zoro's left eye is the one that's like cut, so he oh, can't see no. out of it. Oh my god! <laughs> or like, uh, wait, wait, what's another good one? <laughs> trying to think. I, this, I feel like it's too specific, but it's like, uh... Robin's parents? I, I was gonna say Ace's abs. <laughs> oh my god, do you know? <laughs> I, I know, because, like, I've seen spoilers, but... Uh -huh. <laughs> you gotta, you're gonna have to tag this with One Piece spoilers, I'm so sorry. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Put a disclaimer, because I kind of want to talk about something. I did a stream, right, for Minecraft, and, like, I was, mm -hmm. like, getting bored. So I, I was like, you know what, let's, like, do a little something else. So we do, like, a little Wattpad reading, like, live, and then I was like, hold on, let me rank the One Piece men. So then I was ranking them, and then I straight up, like, said a spoiler about Ace. <laughs> so in my chat was like, Phoenix, what did you just do? I'm like, what do you mean? What's wrong? <laughs> and they were like, you just spoiled that for me. And I'm like, Ah, shit! I mean, there's so much. Yeah, I it's think so I... easy to get spoiled. So I'm just like, I just run with it and I'm still gonna watch it. Yeah. I watched 20 episodes in one day. Like, I stayed up till like 3 a.m. Dude, how, how many episodes are you in now? Well, I'm, I'm, I'm like 40 episodes in. That's fucking- oh, oh my god. I'm, 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 I'm past the hour long, like, moment that everyone's like- Whoa, 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 wait. I'm not completely done well, with yeah, the yeah, but, um... stuff. But people say to get to episode 37, and if you go past that point and you stay, then that means One Piece is for you. So I'm so glad that you made it past 37. Oh no, I was gonna get through it anyway. Oh, I was gonna force myself. I was like, I gotta- the live action's there. Do you- have you seen them? They're beautiful. Have you seen- have you seen, like, some of the modeling photos for Inyaki? What? <laughs> no, no, he looks so good. I'm so sorry. We're gonna- Dude, be, Yeah, yeah, said, 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 No, 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 no. He- he looks- He's gorgeous. Dude, there's- I keep getting ads, there's U2s of the- of the characters from One Piece, like the- the first five, and it's the- based off of, like, the actors. <laughs> so I asked Cameron, I'm like, can I get a Sanji figure, please? <laughs> you should get one. Oh my gosh, I might. Yeah. They look no, so pretty. I can- oh, wait, hold on. I sent it to my boy, I can resend it, because they had Luffy, Zoro, Sanji, Nami, and Usopp. Oh my god, uh, Usopp! I yes. love Usopp so much. Oh, I'm sending you the collection real quick. <laughs> Gotta do it on my phone, that way I'm not doxing my boyfriend. <laughs> Alright, let me see. Woo! Shish. Oh shit, it's I know. Wait, wait, is it the act actor for Luffy? Yes! Damn, dude! I didn't know he was this good looking. I thought he was just like, just a little guy. <laughs> He, you know, me too, because he's like, oh my god, I see- Boy, that's my son right there. God. Like, despite being like a year older. <laughs> no, like, he, we're just a year him. older than him, and I'm just like, wow, we could have- we could have done this, <laughs> but- <laughs> and every time I see an actor, like, my age, I'm just like, wow, that could have been me. <laughs> that could have been us. <laughs> Dude, no, but he it. looks so good. Yeah, he does. I, I keep seeing Sanji's shit pop up, and I'm like, I, that, I was like, that could have been me. I could have been the blonde at table eight. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna dye your hair blonde? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Are we, are we gonna do that? No, no. I we'll just hang out. We're gonna. Actually, I've been thinking for a while. If I dye my hair, I kind of want. Well, I was gonna dye like some of the ends and whatnot. Not do like the full head. I was mm -hmm. gonna do the ends green. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> Any shade of green? Oh my god, we gotta get back to the thing. Dude, I'm so sorry. Uh, we're just we're... No, we're good. I think, well, I think we're just about out of time, dude. 
So, I think we're gonna end it there. I th okay. Th this book is so good so far. It, it, it's just, like, the author isn't, like, a fluent English speaker, so I know there's some errors and whatnot. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it's not as distracting. Sometimes it's a little funny, but... <laughs> You know, I can live with it. I can I can live with getting the little sentence wrong here and there. So, mm -hmm. but how how are you enjoying? It? I know you you have not even met Law. Like I don't, don't know. know who Law is. I just know the I just know that you have a poster and I just know what he looks like. Yeah. And that's it, dude. I don't know if you're going to Animazement or GalaxyCon. I hope to get a Law cosplay done. <laughs> oh my god, I'm gonna go to Animazement because a it's what I'm used to. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want to say cheaper, but it is that's what I'm used to. Yeah, dude, it's gonna be so fun. I'm gonna make sure. I'm I got so excited. Cosplay. I'll make sure I'm Sanji too as well. Uh, <laughs> well, anyway, th this was a lot of fun. I I've had fun reading this with you. I uh, I hope we read soon. Yeah. Hopefully, we'll finish the law book and then we can read a different. Uh, thing from this author because the author has other stuff. They have an ace one. Mm, interesting. Yeah. Unfor unfortunately, the last three books that they wrote, they were they're technically unfinished. They just disappeared. So, oh my god. So they're left on like it's a the fan fiction author curse. Yeah. But like tragedy strikes. Yeah, tragedy strikes, and I'm like, I'm like, no. I'm like so scared to write fan fiction because I'm just like I know like some like a lot of people make make up the stuff, but it's also like what if. Yeah. What if I get into a car crash, my house catches on fire, and mm. I jump off a bridge? I don't oh know. God, the AO3 curse. I'm like, sorry guys, uh, my my proofreader that reads all my fanfiction before I publish that it is mutilated. in jail right now. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, they're in jail for mutilating a, a 87 year old man. <laughs> like, I don't know. Damn. Well, well, thank you for joining me on this, dude. Next, next I was, time, I don't know I'm glad to be here. I don't know if we'll be reading Law or the Waluigi's, but after we read that book, we're going to be introducing the wheel. Because Jolene's coming as a regular, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, well, well if, if also, if you would like to read the book and support the author, I'll have it linked down below in the, in the description for you guys. They, they do so good. They have a Sanji one. Highly recommend, even though it's really unfinished. <laughs> But uh, anyway, my name is Phoenix, that was Jolene, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!